because uh, I like old things, you know. And I told you last week I gave up romance, but but when I was uh, 58, because uh, you know for a few reasons. But now I'm 66. Uh, I'm beginning to get the urge again. Not not the sexual urge. I mean, I've always had that, but. I really am looking forward to living with uh, another lady and uh, there's a couple I got in mind now <clears throat> it's nothing sexual I just want the company of another female uh, or, or no more than a month probably unless she's really really compatible with me and there's one I that's uh, that's all in the here, hereafter and the hitherto so I'm quite happy with me and me dog. Me dog Buster's been at the boarding kennels at uh, Palmdale on the Central Coast. If any of you have got, oh yeah, and one thing I got to tell you before I go, how much time have I got? Uh, I went. I, I I've been staying in a few motels while I was filming in the city, and one at Newtown called uh, Billabong Gardens is quite nice. But another one I went to. Now at at Kings Cross, there's an old joint called the Astoria. And it's got 1930s decor, and it's got lounge chairs in the room, and it's got oil paintings on the wall, and it's quite lovely to look at. It's just like a real old-fashioned hotel for for renting rooms out. Anyway, I, I, I needed a, a room, and I was dressed like a, a, an old guy for this movie, so after I knocked off work, I went straight, and I said, oh, I better not go to the classy motels. I'll go to this, this old one called the Astoria on Dullingus Road, King's Cross, opposite the Swans Club. Now, I warn you, none of you has better go there, because uh, I got in there and I lay down and... Uh, it was 80 bucks, so you'd expect it to be classy, you know, because you can get a normal motel room for 70 or 80 bucks in Australia. And uh, I lay there and I felt a little bit itchy, and uh, I said, no, it's my imagination, they wouldn't have bed bucks. Not in an $80 joint. In Australia, and uh, two hours later, I woke up and oh shit! I had three red marks, three big red bites on my arm, and uh, I, 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 I ran my hand over the sheet. The sheet was white, luckily, so I found three bed bugs and I popped them on the. T Gee, they pop good. I popped them on the table uh, as evidence, and then I lay down and I watched the sheet for a couple of hours and I saw little black things now coke freaks people that take cocaine too much they see bugs all the time on their arm but I never liked coke and uh, I uh, I know how they feel now because I kept watching the sheet and I saw three or four black dots getting closer and closer and I got them I got, them. I got one at a time rolled them up and popped them on the table next to the bed bugs. They were th four fleas, four little black fleas. So I lay down again for another, this was, oh yeah, midnight, a guy bashed and kicked it five, six times at me door and uh, bashed the door open and I yelled at him, L the light was out so he couldn't see I was an old bloke and the light was out and he said, and I said to him in a real butch voice, I said, fuck off out of here, you know. And, and he went, oh, oh, and he and he went out and he said, sorry, mate. Anyway, I found out later he'd gone into the wrong. He, he'd, his mate had the key and he was locked out, you know. So he'd bashed open the door of his room, but he, it wasn't his room; it was mine. <laughs> anyway, that's that's what happens at the Astoria. It starts with an A. Astoria Hotel in Kings Cross. And uh, poor bloody tourists. I feel sorry for them that go there that think it's a normal joint. And they get bitten and their blood sucked by these bloody bludgers. Anyway, I didn't complain to the clerk because even if he'd given me money, I didn't look the type that would get into a classy motel that night because after work. So I lay there and, uh, and besides the clerk was only a kid and he's only, he would have known about the bugs. Everybody in the bloody Astoria would have known about the bugs. And, uh, I watched for the rest of the night, and the bloody noise from the bloody sw the pub across the road, you couldn't sleep even if you wanted to. Um, and I kept watching for the bugs to come over the white sheet. And I kept watching and watching, and I lay awake for about four hours, and no more bugs came. 
So maybe there was only three bed bugs and four fleas in the whole hotel. Or maybe I had the best classiest room because some rooms you get for 50 bucks well mine was supposed to be classy for 80 bucks. <laughs> so for 80 bucks you only get three bed bugs and four fleas. Anyway, uh, so next time I stay overnight in Sydney I'm going to a classy joint and I did last week. The, the Billabong Gardens in uh, Newtown. That was a nice joint for... Uh, 90 bucks, it was a lovely joint, and you got a balcony so you can have a, a puff on the out, you know, without raising the alarms. Uh, so what was the next thing I was going to tell you? That's all. I, I'm sorry I haven't made a video lately because I've been, oh, I'm so crook with me bad back, but now I'm well again. Fuck, I feel good. I never felt better in my whole life. Everything's working perfectly. Hmm. See you all.